Sup guys, Son of Beast here. We are back with another NBA 2K20, and you can check out the review of the Phoenix Suns versus the Detroit Pistons on my on my playlist of season four of NBA. Right now, the next game is on, so please stick around after this. Still you get me fed up. Tonight might be an exciting matchup. We got the Indiana Pacers versus the Magics. As for right now, I am about to be doing the Duty City versions and see who will win the next game. For that being said, here are the matchups. It's on it's on its way. But this wouldn't be happening if we have done this uh, before. We got Brogdon, Lamb, Warren, Sabonis, Turner. And then the magic side, we got Fultz, Foreigner, Gordon, Birch, and Vucevic. For that being said, here's the, uh, this is a lot of a matchup. Let's see what's going on at Amway Center. This is an amazing, uh, nice uh, looking view here in Orlando. Well, welcome to the Amway Center, as we definitely got the Pacers back in the ever seasons in season one after they had a loss against the Nuggets and then a win against the Bulls so we got Domanta Sabonis 18 in a row for this season last five games were 13.8 and it's 9.8 to show how his point average are putting up this spot so here's the matchups starting lineups once again here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers but it looks like it's going to be a really exciting to show you how it's going to happen. But we are really excited to show you what is going around here. This is going to be amazing to, sh to check out. It's a conference rival. Okay, it looks. let's see who could win the ball. And I'll tell you what, I did change the time to 8 minutes, so I'll probably do that one. Make it shorter instead of making it longer because the time is taking a lot of the time to, to make the time off again. So anyways, let's get on and we're ready to go. Pass to Eric Gordon, that was off. Eric Gordon missed a second time. And we have gotten to take a rebound over by the Pacers. Screen on Sabonis. Deflects the pass. Saved it with the rebound. Brogdon to Lamb. Here's Miles Turner. And the foul will be on Birch. His first personal foul for Orlando Magics. Here's Miles Turner once again. And once you wait, you could just see that the ball was giving a lot of space to show how it's uh, losing the ball already. But this was really kind of that tub that nobody was looking at. Here's the, uh, here's the Pacers head coach. I just skipped it that far, so I'll make it faster. Two shots. Now Miles Turner will take two shots. Stopping at 720 to go. And yes, Milk Day is um that was uh that was last uh, couple of weeks last uh his name is potential that was um still young on Monday, for those of you uh, who noticed about Martin Luther King, I appreciate it. We definitely noticed that he has a he has a dream speech that he would that he would take. But for everyone, we'd like to know that we we would have a, every dream to have a every dream between white and and black. Fultz, over by Brogdon. Rebound by Sabonis. And Sabonis will hand it off. Here's Brogdon. Going back to Sabonis. Under seven minutes to go. We only have one for the Pacers and nothing for the Magics. And the shot was blocked off. Contested shot. Sabonis couldn't save the rebound. Foreigner. Against Lamb. Now the pass to Fultz. Fultz with the three. 
Oh, Rebound good. by Turner. Yes. Yeah, After so another start. miss from her Magics. To get this one going. So he passes off to Brogdon. Right in the middle. A drive. Rebound by Sabonis. A narrow one, no good. Sabonis couldn't hit another one. So another man was taking a lot of pressure that time. And deflected. And there's a foul called on Warren. It's first personal. That's a loose ball foul for the Pacers. Only one foul for for the Pacers and one foul for the Magics. This is off to Gordon. And here's Fultz. Right around to Gordon. Not enough to, but he did have it. Here the field goals. No field goal position for the Pacers to put it in. Turner this is back to Brogdon. He goes right over to Lamb. Lamb going over to Warren. Shots off. For another foul for the Magic's Vucevic, his first personal. No question, he got bumped on that shot. TJ Warren, what could you do about that? How would you do it? So for TJ Warren, he'll take two shots. Adding the three-pointer to his arsenal. For the Pacers. Shoot two. Lucy Vitch not looking surprised already, but he definitely wants the crowd to hear some noise. First not for that time, TJ Warren has his first bucket in. Warren improved his three-point shooting last year. Doris was incredible. No doubt, Kevin. We know this that the Pacers did handle a win against the Nuggets. It was a great matchup between the uh, between the Pacers and the Nuggets, uh, East and Western. Yeah, we know that one before. That's the first uh, that's the first video I've done in season one. Both free throws are good, and yes, I did win to the Rangers game. It was a lot of fun, but unfortunately. The Rangers did not win against the Columbus Blue but I'll get to that game in a little bit for the NHL. Miles Turner with the block. What a good, nice defenseman for the Pacers. Sabonis with the layup is good. A lot of, a lot of great uh, good pressure on the board, but we got a assist by Brogdon or Turner. I don't know which one. Fournier against Lamb. Screen out, corner for three, kept alive, blocked another one for the Pacers. That's going to be definitely Turner, and he's on, Fultz is on cold right now. Turner passes up to Brogdon, over Gordon, shot, no good. The go the other way with it. Folks, still cold, trying to keep the pressure alive. And Vucevic with the dunk. That was after the assist by Folks. Well, Markel Folks continues to develop his. Brogdon dishes off to Turner. That will create all kinds of. He dishes off to Lamb. The Pacers now. After the Magic pickup too. Here's Lamb. The drive blocked by. Foreigner. I don't know if it says Fultz with the dunk. Brogdon in the other way. Four minutes remaining. Six to five. Out to Lamb. Lamb with the shot. That's good. This is five. That's another assist by Sabonis. Here's Fultz, covered by Brogdon. They to Avoid the screen by Vucevic. Gordon for three. That's good. That was beyond the arc. I, I, I understand that. Yeah. A lot of efforts going around, but this might be enough time to get back in the, out, in the action. He passes up to Warren. Five seconds to shoot. Lamb with the drive up and away. And no rebounds for Sabonis. He missed it again. Took it away by Lamb. Turned the, up, turned the ball in the other direction. Warren with the drive and the fouls going on Gordon. 
That's his first personal foul under three minutes. Nine to seven as we're looking for. Coach for the uh, for the Atlanta Magic still getting a little bit frustrated again. That could be a deflection, but there is but there is a foul, not a clean not a clean uh, block. T.J. Warren will sh shoot the line for two. First shot is good, and we have some couple substitutions on on the court as all four are subbed out. McConnell, Holiday, McDermott, and Batads, and folks four in our Gordon Birch, Bamba, I wonder Rose, and Augustine are subbed in. War of our last shot. That's two shots. And tied up with nine. As your college's all-time assistant. Augustine against McConnell. Treats of a great playmate. I think historically speaking, when we he did this off to Rose, cards, Kevin, not Derek Rose, but this is the other Rose that we're looking at. Oh, and the foul and out of bounds. No foul called on the Pacers, so that will be Indiana ball. Now T.J. Warren will sub out. McDermott stays on the court. T.J. Leaf will be subbed in. As subbed in. Is probably the most underrated aspect of it. Now here's McConnell. You played. You took such great pride in each and every one of those things. I did. I love trying to make my teammates. Passes off to McDermott. To make somebody feel good. Now here's McDermott. McDermott to Batads. Batads with a good shot. That's two points for for tonight. Twenty-four points for that's for McDermott. And now Augustine with the spin move. Pass off to Rose. Drew Holiday trying to cover. He tries and but ties with that block. Not for that time. He picked up another one. Two minutes to go in the first period. McConnell against. McConnell uh, scanning the floor. Scanning the floor, looking for somebody to open. He found Holiday. Back to McConnell. To McConnell. Leaf will shoot. Good. And it's good. That's the assist from McConnell. I don't know. I don't know if it is. Oh, it's Holiday. Okay. Now here is Augustine. Trying to avoid the screen by Vucevic. Here's Vucevic. Five fadeaway. A wound new to Bamba. Five to shoot. Shot. No good. And that will turn the other way. Matad takes the ball and gets takes care of it. He passes off to McConnell. McConnell passes the bazaar. Matad's. Matad's with the shot. Rebound, Leaf with a great save. That's number one uh, saving rebound of the night. That's the first rebound for Leaf. Under 50 to go, 15 to 11. Pacers are still in the lead. Here's Vucevic, Vucevic with a good shot. Bounds an open, open shot, right near the paint. There's 31 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Screen coming. McConnell with the drive and blocked it again, but save was put up by Leaf. Bataz up. And Batase will get another bucket. He has four, only one rebound for Batadz. Batadze. If you spell out Batadze a better way, it's not going to be Batadz. Leaf. Is off to Batadze, the shot. Oh, almost made a buzz beater, but Holiday got the shot. That's the end of the first quarter, 19 to 13. And we definitely got a never, uh, never uh, set up to do. But we'll be right back after this one. Second, second quarter will be starting after this.
Happy Martin Luther King to uh, to everyone. And we noticed that it was the best time to uh, to have a great Amer honor uh, America showing you about the black and the and the white. But this time uh, that was back in the ninth, back in the nineteen hundreds. It definitely they might be. Uh, it's definitely not. It's definitely not black and uh, white anymore. It's now men's and women's in, in each section. Here's Leaf, covered by covered by McDermott. Here's McDermott with the with the drive, and it's taken away. Fraser Jr. will shoot for and Rose with a great dunk. That was the assist by Fraser Jr. Here's Holiday. Holiday trying to look for anybody around. Here's McDermott. McDermott to Holiday. And with the shot, rebound by Leaf. Another one blocked again. That was Bamba. Augustine to a holiday. We're down to seven minutes to go. Augustine will shoot, and your rebound will put up by a holiday. Augustine with another miss, miss shot. Free for holiday. Rebounded. Oh, couldn't take it back again. Rose. Pass off to Augustine. To so Augustine, Holiday, Rose will come up. Rose will shoot. It's good. 19 to 17. It's getting really close. Magics are trailing by two. Drew Holiday will come up. And a foul is going to be on blocking for Augustine. No shot made. It's blocking foul. But Tatsy will sub out, and Miles Tyron comes on on the court. And Bama and and Bama and Vucevic will switch it, and Aaron Gordon will come out after Vucevic. He passes off to McDermott. Miles Turner will take one. That shot's good. That's the assist by McDermott. I'm sorry, or, or McConnell. I don't know if it is McConnell or McDermott. I think it's McConnell, probably. Yeah. You get that, right? Now Augustine is on Aaron Holiday to be covered. Ross, right on the right in the corner. Gordon with a reverse dunk. Wow. Amazing, uh, amazing plays of that game. We've never seen that game before. Holiday, covered by Augustine. McDermott will take one with a look. McDermott whip up against Holiday. Off the Turner. Contested shot is off the line. And Magic tipped it again. Gordon with a dunk. That puts him in another good spot. Open no call, no timeout call. That was that was surprising shot. Under five minutes to go. Holiday goes to Drew Holiday. To Turner. Whoa! Blocked away. Augustine against Holiday. Frazier with the three. That's good. That puts him up in a spot. Pacers are calling the timeout with 4.35 to go. 24 to 21. Pacers need some strategy to get back on the court. Help the defense. And Fournier will be uh, checking in uh, by Augustine. So I have a couple of a substitution right now, but Sabonis, Warren, Lamb, and Brogdon are going good to be on the list. Whoa! Great shot! A great cut and drive on the paint. And it's only one. They're down by one. Fultz. 
Count the basket. Turner has his first foul on Indiana. Here's Markel Fultz once again. Great shot opportunity. Great saving in one. But for Turner, it's too much to comply to make a heavy contested shot. To get back to his game. Ken Burks has checked in for the match. One shot for Fultz. That free throw is good. And so it said, Doris, for Fultz, not just physical issues dogging him. And Brogdon will come up. Goes right to Turner. Saved by Saphonis. Not a chance for a rebound, and they missed it again. Well, they need to look for open passes more. Took it away by Lamb. Brogdon up the drive, and that's good. That's his second bucket of the night. 340 left, 27 to 25, at the second period. Fultz against Brogdon. Trying to avoid the screen, but it did happen again. Hell, oh, I don't know who blocked the ball, but I don't know who did it, but... This is getting intense. Sabonis looking for someone to open. Finds Turner. Back to Brogdon. Sabonis. No shot. No shot for Sabonis, so that's a miss. Only 17 rebounds for for a pacer and 18 for the rebounder of the Magics. I don't know if it's 18 or 17. We don't know. Found an open look. Nice, nice play up for layup. And that's Turner for his first assist. <clears throat> Tied up by 27. Fultz finds Foreigner. Foreigner's shot's good. That's he. That's he's got a first bucket of the game for the three. Assist by Fultz. Warren. Now here's Warren. Twenty-two points in the win against the Nuggets in Denver. Screen on Sabonis. Finds Turner. Ah, too close already. A more shot needs to be put on the board. Two minutes remaining. Foreigner. 48 missed again and went out of energy on the bar. To make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something. Looking some of the pass finds Turner. Now here's Turner. Turner shoots. That's good. You have to understand when to assert. Miles Turner's got five points the game. Staying engaged right there. Now here's Fultz. Fultz. He's got five. Covered by Brogdon. The fader. Fader. And missed it again as the Pacers got another rebound by Sabonis. Sabonis will try one and he's got it. Timeout called by Orlando Magic. And Sabonis got the first two buckets of the game. For we're finally putting enough. We're finally putting enough, uh, enough leader, enough energy to uh, to make a timeout before we uh, head back on the court. After the timeout, we finally have Sabonis. He has four points, only two points, uh, but no threes for for Indiana Pacers. But we definitely got. We definitely got the magic sub uh, for three. Fournier right right looking for a cut to open it. I wonder if we'll try one. In their last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. 12 points for Fournier, and he's got 14. I love that Aaron Gordon goes right up with it. He's got really good instincts. Kano up to Brogdon. To the inside. Finds a look. Matatze. Rebound by Sabonis. 
And the shot is on Sabonis after assist by Batadze. Fournier against Brogdon. 30 seconds to go. Threes off target. Here's a three for Brogdon. It's good! We finally have a three for the Pacers. But only Magic has a couple of threes to put it in. Fultz. No rebound for the Pacers, but Gordon couldn't save it again. Two seconds. Three second violation. Still Magic's ball. That was by Sabonis. Not fixing up really well, but this is definitely a not not a good roundup to took. I wonder will take a shot. Thirty-six to thirty-three. Let's find out. Nope. Didn't go in. Now for Ross and DJ Augustine came. came Come on the court to sub out Fultz and Fournier. 2.4 seconds. One. No buzz beater for Gordon. So that is the end of the first half. 36 to 32. Pacers took the early lead in the first half, but for the second half, we'll be right back after this one. So don't go anywhere, there'll be more coming up. And we'll see you in the second half. We would like to welcome back to the Emway Center. We are glad you could join us as we have gotten a nice, exciting matchup between Pacers and the Magics. This was a fantastic, uh, fantastic series that they're, they're both in, uh, in the Eastern Conference. By Aaron Gordon, he has 11 points, got a lot of rebounds, only one assist from each player. But there could be another rebounder for, for Aaron Gordon. It's between the Southeast and Central. So for that time, there's going to be a tough spot to look for. Southeast, I'm calling for, not Southwest. Southeast. I know, it's S E. That means that stands for Southeast. Lamb up at the drive. Wow, he figured it out. He knows how he does the layup. Fultz against Brogdon. Down to 7.30 to go. Fultz will try one. His shot's good. Field goals for Indiana Pacers with 44 and 37 for Magics. Found another pass. Fouls on Vucevic. His second personal foul. I don't think Vucevic had a shot, but this is kind of really bad. Miles Turner, Turner really looks surprised. Says. But from Turner, what what he would say say is say is uh, what just happened with my ball? Who just who just swapped my ball away? I think the boot. I think one of the players from Magic said I've done it. I don't know what Max got that is. Uh, I think could be a dragon of fairy. That's the mascot right there. Shot for Turner is good for his first bucket. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Stop the clock at 7:18 in the third period. They put Providence College women's basketball on radio. If you haven't, guys, have gotten to the All-Star voting, please do so now. You should. I should say, please do it right now. I did our high school uh, for the vote because you could be the only winner if you select one of the players in the All-Star game in Chicago. Boy, the screen. It's reaching fouls on Sabonis. His first foul. That's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. I didn't reach a foul, but that was not mine. Vucevic to Birch. Here's Birch. Covering on Sabonis. Shot going up. Fultz misses the three. No freeze in the second half. 
Sabonis coming in. Fouls on Birch. Aaron Gordon didn't have a foul yet. So he went too soon to get it up here. Birch was getting a little bit worried about his about his foul. What's going on? Yeah, I think uh, Birch wins. Uh, it's definitely close, but it was not on Aaron Gordon. Sabonis will take two shots. But the shot didn't go in. So I say it's two. First shot's good. And you look at the development for Sabonis. What stands out? Well, I think he's made strides across the board. Only 12 so rebounds. That's like a lot of uh, a lot of rebounds played up for the Indiana Pacers. He's a triple threat on the offensive end. He is super smart. You would be glad if we would have bring uh, Indiana Pacers full front court positions. To bring Victor Oladipo back in. That's going to be pretty soon on uh, next week. Next two weeks. I don't know which one because it might be definitely hard to find find out which one it will be. Nice save for Birch. He finally got a bucket. Brogdon will take a, we'll take, a uh, take a heavy look. Screen on Turner. Good pass, but the shot's off. That was rebounded by Vucevic. Gordon with the drive. Found Birch and the dunk. 42 to 38 with another close call. That was the assist by Gordon. Recognizing open teammates. Warren on the outside. Gordon against Warren. Sabonis trying to get open. Hard, hard screen. Gordon's got his seventh rebound. Hard play through. Pulse for a three. Looking to tie this thing up, but there's no chance because there's only two pointers for the for the Magics. Brogdon on the wing, guarded by Fultz. Fournier against Fournier. Brogdon with the look. Finds Lamb. Shot for T Warren. And turn it over into an out of bounds rule. Here's the schedule for the Indiana Pacers. They're taking a look to face on against Donovan Mitchell in the Utah Jazz. Imagine Devin Booker, the, the Phoenix Suns. 5.15 remaining. Boosie Bitch with a corner. Fouls on Liam. That goes to another foul on Indiana. Shooting two will be Vucevic. Hard drive. That took a lot of time to, uh, to put it back in the to put it back into the roster pick for the standings of score buckets. With his footwork, so this is a big time player now. Make no mistake. Let's see what his footwork is on with two shots. Vucevic, first one to throw it in. All three subbed in. Brock and Lamb Warren and Sabonis are checked out. Holidays. McDermott and Lee come on the court. Then we got Birch out, and Bamba is checked in. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Vucevic will take one shot. McDermott comes in for Warren. Justin Holiday misses free throw on a second one, but that still keeps it alive in a tie. And you look at the footwork of Vucevic to leave it off, be even. Holiday finds McDermott. To Holiday goes up by Leaf. Leaf up. Found it again. That's another point for a leap. Here's Fournier. Scoring wise, he's definitely making Definitely looking for a best spot, but Leaf said, nope, gotta find another one. That's Fournier. The layup's good. Wow, Magic fans are getting pretty excited to stop the Pacers from being hard out. Holiday gets to McDermott. 
Turner will take a screen. Looking for somebody to open. Holiday is on the middle. Holiday shoots. It's for good. That's assist by McDermott. Under four minutes, 46 to 44. Fultz. Screen on Vucevic. Rebound by Vucevic. Vucevic with the save. That's a two-pointer for Vucevic. Pacers are trying to stop the magic between in the city of each to leave. This is getting close already. Ooh. Holiday. Let's see. Nope. Vucevic has taken a rebound, and Gordon will carry it along. Two bolts. Shot. No good. Leave for the rubber rebound. Nobody open. He can't hit the three pointer. Fultz for the lead. It is. Timeout called by Pacers. Indiana. Timeout by Indiana. With, uh, with three minutes to go. Let's find out who can have a best shot to put it in. Here are some new changes for the Pacers. Vitasse is checked in for Turner. Here's McConnell. But McDermott still stays, keeps on him on the court. Vitasse will look. Looking forward is Drew Holiday. Kicks to McDermott. McDermott will shoot. Another miss for Indiana. Vucevic with another rebound. I warned you. Oh, no good for the three. That was so close. Blocked by Vucevic. But that still keeps him alive for Indiana ball. Gordon is now checked in for a bomba. This is off to Drew Holiday. And Holiday gets to Holiday. Holiday. McDermott with the shot. And it's good. That still ties it up to stay to stay even. Augustine against Picano. Gordon in the, in the middle. Vucevic with the layup. Another one. Shot's good. Iron Holiday with his first personal foul on Indiana. Points in paint, only 16 for, for Indiana and 32 for the Orlando Magic. Vucevic about to be taken. One shot. Shot's good. I think the Indiana We are approaching two minutes to go. Third period. McConnell finds Batadze. The eleventh pick back in 2015. He has got off to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday shot no good. Ross takes the lead. Another points for, for Ross. Kill goal percentage was 460. That puts him in a good spot. Drew Holiday. Looking someone to open. Here's McDermott. Trying to look for a flop, flop step. Shot is good for Holiday. Another two points. Augustine against McConnell. And the screen's on Vucevic. The dunk for Vucevic has got it in. The game, the jump shot. Vucevic, a capable scorer who loves taking over on the offensive end. Aaron Holiday trying to step him out. Contested shot was tough. Aaron Holiday has got another points. They've had assists now their last 
rebound. McConnell against Augustine. Oh, here is Augustine. Here's I wouldn't do. Closely. Passes it to Gordon. Passes it to Gordon. Here's it. And he uses, Gordon. uses a layup to use the backboard. Back at the five now for Orlando. I'll tell you this, the interior game of Aaron Free for Drew Holiday. No good. I wouldn't do. Found an open drive. 59 to 52 with 15 seconds to go. Oh, taken away by a Wundu. A Wundu has a number of points. Five seconds. Three seconds. Two. Oh, uh, McConnell didn't get a good buzz beater, so that ends up in the third quarter. So that puts up a magic good uh, pacing so far, 61 to 52. Here's a look at the safe farm assist of the game. Watch what this shot puts up for Vucevic. When you see Aaron Gordon, you you gotta look for gotta look for an open tight. Uh, you gotta look for an open shot. And Fultz got his shot and put it back in. And, welcome back to and we are ready to take on the fourth quarter. And this one's game is almost done. DJ Augustine against McConnell. Oh, I forgot how to steal that ball, but I don't, I don't even know if it's not right. Perch, shot's good. 47% for the Magics and 41% for Pacers. McConnell had it away and with the layup. Augustine against McConnell. He got it away. And it looks like Augustine has got another points to put it back in. Only two points. He's got a first bucket. So bonus puts a revenge on Augustine. Ten points and twelve rebounds. That's ten points for Sabonis. Augustine trying to get out of here. Now here is Augustine. He's covered by McConnell. And it turns it over to beat Indiana Ball. No foul called on called on uh, Indiana so far. And now Turner will come in to sub out Sabonis. Waiting for our turn to get here. Okay. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Just under seven minutes to put it in the board. Turner. And that's another two pointer for Turner. That's nine for Turner and Vucevic for 14. Trying to cover him. Augustine against Brogdon, and it's turned it over. Sabonis is coming in. Oh, close shot, but Gordon has his second personal foul. Wow, the fake. Wow, the Magic's are getting screwed. The Sabonis got, but for Sabonis, he's got two points, two shots to go. Trying to look for it. I'm trailing by five. That's now how we play on Defender. That was kind of roughness. And the first first shot's good. good. And you look at Gordon's getting a little bit price. As a disclaimer for, for not showing the respect of respectful defense. He made two in a row. And the Indiana and trailing by five. Some time at the power forward spot in today's game, Greg. He's Paces are trailing by five. I mean, six, eleven, two, forty. He's got lean. Shot for Gordon. That's good. Looking to stay mobile. Now to serve him, whichever position. Rodden. Paces trail by eight. to Lamb. Now they're trailing by eight. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. To the paint. He found Turner. 
No good for Turner. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. Augustine to Arwindu. Never miss for the three. No shot contested for for each player on the three-point line. Warren has found the pass to Miles Turner. Turner has a three. Nice critic. Not a critical job, but a, a great, fantastic uh, passes for T.J. Warren. No good for for a two pointer. Right in terms of execution, he just can't get it to go. Back to Sabonis. He goes to Sabonis. Shots off for the three. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range. Augustine against Brogdon. Step back. That's good. Timeouts on Indiana. 5:04 remaining. But they're have to. They're gonna have to like uh, watch the zones. To keep it, to keep back in track. Both teams are making the switch right now. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. He wants them to work for more easy baskets in transition. He said, "The moment we take possession of the ball, I want us to attack." There's nothing there. Then you can pull it back out and run the offense. Kevin. Well, it's really kind of hard, but this one is getting a little, a lot of light hope to put it back on the floor. We got Gordon with a dunk. Pass off to Drew Holiday. Pour it up. Shot's good. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look, right at the cup, nicely done. Another field goal strategy, 48 to 44. Bolts against Brogdon. Pass to Vucevic. Pass up to Vucevic. Gets it away! And another layup puts up a good spot. This close, he's focused on putting two on the board. Pass up to Sabonis, and the three is good. He's got a number one. That was by Holiday with another assist. 343 remaining, 74 to 68. Pacers are catching up. No, no shot for Foles, but Sabonis has another rebound. Holiday with no good with a fadeaway. Aaron Gordon with another two point out. He has 20 and Sabonis for 15. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Bounds are looking to, to Drew Holiday. He has a three. That's about to be the same one just like Sabonis did. Under three minutes. Fultz against Brogdon. Screen. Nobody around. Shot's good. Timeout call by Indiana. He's got a fan to show it to the crowd for Vucevic. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. Just need to uh, fix it up for a second, okay? Probably this is definitely not what we're looking at. Now here's a Jordan player in the game. This one goes to Aaron Gordon. With about to be a 20-point shot, but definitely with a nice play of the game. This was definitely must better shots. But for Vucevic, I thought this would be a, I thought it would be Vucevic with a, with a player in the game. But he's but Gordon. He's playing really hard. A lot of strategy. A lot of last uh, and now a tight straight game over on each team. And now here's Brogdon. Goes up by Jeremy Lamb. Inside. Not a bounce pass, but Turner will take one. Try to keep out of the paint. Lamb is on. Passed up to Brogdon. 
Indiana needs to get a shot. To the shot. No good. And that's another miss for Indiana. And take away. Ran out of bounds. Still magic ball. That's definitely how not, not going to happen. Shot for Fultz. And Pacers made another rebound. Just two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Screen on Turner. Shoots from the baseline. Lamb misses again. Fultz has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Perch. Perch. Shot's good. Sabonis with another foul. That's his second personal foul. Wow, he's so bad. He says, why is it on me? What did I do? Well, this is kind of bad for the Pacers to put it up. We wish we would have Victor Oladipo to be back on. But the officials say that this was bad to hear. Birch has got another points. Pacers trail by 11. Three paces of trail by 11. Sabonis with the ball. Passes it to Brogdon. Over four. Over four. That shot's good. It's still two point, not a three. Brogdon has nine. Fultz has 12. Pass to Gordon. Up to Gordon. Screen on Gordon. Foul will be taken on TJ Warren. His second. Try to stop the clock at 114 left. And now for two shots will be Birch. First free throw. First free throw is good. That'll push the lead to double digits. That converts the lead with another point drive. He's off on the and he's off on a second shot. Shot for Brandon. That's good. Timeout call by Orlando Magic. Coming off a big game. 83 to 76. We're probably seeing a lot of plays plays going on. They're definitely on track. Now I'm switching it to a to a to a two. How about two two three seven? It's not not it's not a bad choice, but it's definitely good. Now there's only one timeout between Indiana and Orlando. So let's see how it goes then. If there is any of her problems that I could take. Definitely coming down to wind down by one minute to go. Fortier. Oh, missed it. Missed it once again. Warren. No good. Trying to put the, trying to stop the foul. To the inside. Inside is Birch and Birch has it in. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Brogdon. favorite moves right there, guys. Oh, the dog found it on Brogdon. A few more inches on his He has 14. That puts him up a good spot. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Gordon. Aaron Gordon on the wing. Vucevic up top. Vucevic on the top. From 12 feet out. 12 feet. So no good. Pass off to Brogdon. He has another one. That's six. That's six for us. Uh, no, sixteen. Six Foul's going to be on Brogdon. His first personal foul. 
And now the line for two will be Markel Fultz. First throw is good. And one shot will be taken up to put up 87 to 80. This guy starting to prove Unfortunately for the Pacers, they definitely don't have enough to keep it in. And the last one, no good for the buzz, Peter. So that's the end of the game. Your final score for tonight is 86 to 80 with a Magic's win in the city. They are back at Orlando after uh, after a after a shocking part of Giannis Antetokounmpo back in season three. Kevin with Evan Fournier. But you got Evan Fournier. Let's see how he's doing. So that's the end of the game, folks. But they finally had a win in season four on NBA 2K20. So with that being said, thanks for watching for part of the season four of NBA 2K20. It was a really tight game after a first half taken by the Pacers, but the second half was definitely a comeback for the Magics. So we're definitely having a we're having much time. We have some time before the playoffs begin on on the end of, on the end uh, through the end of regular season. For next week, we have another game to show you. We are about to be taking for our next game. This is the Utah Jazz, Donovan Donovan Mitchell against Denver Nuggets against Nikola Jokic. Denver Nuggets. So with that, there's nothing more to comply about, but there's definitely a lot, lot much players going on on each team who can handle the next shot. As we got Joe Ingles and Boban Bogdanovich on the Utah Jazz. Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, and Royce O'Neal. Hmm, I don't know what, why is he here, but definitely quite a lot, lot, lot of uh, shots that time. But the dynamic duo will be Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Yeah, definitely one of those, these two guys. They're definitely doing right on top. Thank you for watching for the NBA 2K20. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media. And you could, and don't forget to, uh, to thumbs up to like the video. An All-Star will be coming up on February. So make sure to vote right now, just in case if you're just in case if you're an NBA fan. Just vote one of each best players in the All Star from Western Conference and Eastern Conference. Anyways, that should do it for now. Until next time, peace out, bitches. Until now, for another NBA 2K20 dial. So long, everyone.